One of the many issues I have with the modern world is the sense of entitlement that so many people seem to have, as if the world owes them something and the rest of us should be grateful that we get to exist at the same time that they do. One such person is this lady, Jolyn Cheney, who describes herself as a plus-size influencer and a travel blogger. She's found herself in the news because she started an online petition demanding that the FAA, the Federal Aviation Authority, changes its policies because her and her fiancé have been victims of discrimination. As we can see, our Canadian friend is a rather large person and there are a number of reasons why people are overweight. It may be genetic, it could even be medication. I know in the UK there's an antidepressant, I don't know what it's called, but picture the scene. Someone goes to the doctor because they're feeling low. They're struggling with life, so the doctor puts them on an antidepressant to lift their mood, but the side effects are that the patient will gain masses of weight and it becomes impossible for them to orgasm. That sounds worse than the fucking depression. However, I'll do something which Jolyn can't and go out on a limb, because if she tried it, the limb would break. I'm going to say I don't think it's medication or necessarily genetics that's made her the size that she is because her fiancé, who's a braver man than me, is also somewhat rotund. And I know that the body positivity movement will be saying, but all bodies are beautiful, or at least all women's bodies are beautiful. If you're a man, you're still just a tubby fucker. But I don't think that's necessarily beautiful. What I think when I look at that picture is there's a good chance that person will be dead before she's 40. So what is it that Jolyn is actually demanding? Well, she says that when plus-size people like her travel by aeroplane, they should pay for one seat, but be given as many as they need to be comfortable. Whereas at the moment, if you take up the space of two seats, seats intended for normal-sized people, you'll be charged the price of two seats, which makes sense, because on an aircraft, you're paying for space and weight. If you weigh twice as much as the average person, you should pay double. But she's saying that plus-size people should be given two or three seats, as many as they need to be comfortable, and that the price of those seats should be paid for by the rest of the passengers. I'm sorry, but if someone's only form of exercise is using their pudgy little hands to ram food down their gullet, so they balloon to the size that they need two seats, then pay for two fucking seats. And more to the point, how would it work? Because these days, most of us check in days before we actually fly. Would there be a box to tick that says, I need three seats because I'm a fat bastard? Or, when you're going to check in, would it say, you will be sharing your flight with five fat bastards, so your ticket price has gone up by 20 quid? If I'm honest, I wouldn't want to sit next to a very obese person on a flight, where their flab is spilling over into the space which I have paid for. Not only that, I'll also say, they could pose a danger, a risk, because if that plane needs to evacuate, they're going to block the fucking aisles. Jolyn has also said she's been on flights where the armrests on the seats don't lift and this has caused her to get bruised. Now, firstly, I have never been on a flight where those armrests don't move. And secondly, why is she playing this victimhood narrative? If she doesn't fit in the seat, that's her fault. The solution is remarkably simple. If she wants to be comfortable on an aircraft, then she needs to eat less and move more. Lose some weight. It's not down to other passengers, passengers who've made healthier life choices to subsidize the vacations of eating enthusiasts. Because I guarantee when that plane touches down and they get to the hotel, the second that the buffet is open, her and her fiance, they will fairly fucking move. They'll have stripped half the food away before the other guests have got their napkins out. Another solution, would be to upgrade to business or first class where the seats are much larger. And given that Miss Cheney is a plus size influencer and travel blogger, I'm sure she's coining it in and can afford that. Other than that, just pay for as many seats as your ass needs to be comfortable. Or even more simple, don't fucking fly. But still, she wasn't done. She also insists that aircraft manufacturers need to redesign their bathrooms to make them more comfortable for plus-size people. Let's stop saying plus-size. Let's call it what it is. It's morbid obesity. These are people whose weight will be a contributing factor to their premature death. So she's expecting the likes of Boeing and Airbus 
to redesign the interiors of their planes just so that larger people can be comfy taking a shit. And I'm fully aware that I am far from thin. I'm quite a portly chap, but when I go on holiday to Italy later this year, I also know that as I make my way across the tarmac, the pilot of the plane won't look at me and think, shit, we need to take on more fuel. I started this video saying that some people have a sense of entitlement. Well, how about a woman who through her own choices has made herself so huge that she can't fit into a normal seat and demands the rest of the passengers pay for her? That pretty much fucking sums it up. As ever, thanks for watching.